The political analyst John Keller joining us now here in studio. Yeah, okay, this was a far-ranging speech, John, but was this the tone you expected from the former president tonight? Well, Lisa, David, initially it was. Uh, mm -hmm. Trump delivered on the promise mm -hmm. he made to keep it sober and positive, but as the speech went on and on and on, the familiar Trump habits broke through that script. References to all the subpoenas his sons have been served, insults like crazy Nancy Pelosi, and outlandish claims about how his magic wand will solve all our problems overnight. It, well, it, that delighted the partisans in the hall, but this is a candidate who left office after four years of the lowest average approval rating of any president in in modern times. And while he leads a faltering Joe Biden, he still can't break 50%. So the former president should get a bump out of this convention. But there's a long way to go, and supporters hoping for a lasting Trump rebranding that could lock in his recent gains and persuade doubters to join the Trump train have got to be wondering if tonight's meandering ad-libbing was the exception or a sign that he'll quickly return to the norm. Hmm. I mean, it, it spanned, as they said, into, into the next day. Longest acceptance speech in American history. All right, and there is news from the incumbents campaign as well. While President Biden is facing more pressure now to drop out of the race, two senior House Democrats are telling CBS News they expect the matter to be resolved in the next three to five days. That is the language they used. Sources close to Biden also say they are furious that Democrats are ramping up calls for him to step aside while he's recovering from COVID at his home in Delaware. All right, so John, Biden has been so adamant that he's not going anywhere. So what's happening behind the scenes right now? Well, look, it was three weeks ago tonight. The debate. It seems longer, yeah, but yeah. three weeks ago that the president delivered that disastrous debate performance. And he hasn't done anything since then that appeared to stop the bleeding in, in key state polling. But when Democratic mega donor Jeffrey Katzenberg broke the bad news to Biden yesterday that contributions were drying up, not just to the Biden campaign, but to down ballot Democrats as well, that was a warning that the president cannot shrug off. You know, Donald Trump can relate to what Biden's going through. In 2020, Trump faltered because of voter unhappiness with his presidency and poor debate performances. Fairly or not, it's now Biden's turn to watch helplessly as the electorate turns sour on him. Biden and his fitness to run and serve have become the number one issue, and the Democrats all along have wanted to make the vote a referendum on Trump. Well, they're going to need every dime of those campaign dollars to remind Americans of the low lights of the Trump era, and they need a candidate who can inspire confidence among the swing voters who are up for grabs precisely because they lack confidence in either party. So is Joe Biden that candidate? Keep in mind, David, Lisa, in big time politics, money talks. Mm. And it seems like it's saying no to Joe Biden. It seems to be falling apart pretty yeah. quickly for him. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be a very interesting next few days for the Democratic I, Party. I think we're going to see something sooner rather yep. than later. I agree. John Keller, thank you so much for your insight. Keep, really appreciate you. it.